Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign, episode the 68th. And when we left off, um, well, things had gone right and wrong. What had gone wrong was the Siege of Lamonum. It had gone up in smoke, basically, when a gigantic Gaul army uh, came and stopped me and Takabal fucked everything up. And it's kind of annoying because now we know that the Gauls have a big army. That's probably making its way over here. Instead of over, over to the rather weak Julii, which it would be better off doing. But we've also worked out that the Brutii are now really beginning to lose their grip on Africa. I mean, yeah, we've been doing our part to shake it up. But as it stands, Serta could be ripe for taking. Um, because its garrison is... Oh, they're recruiting artillery there as well. That's quite interesting. And um, Domindi is straight up abandoned, so I have an army on its way to capture Domindi, and that will be another piece of Africa belonging to me. Uh, meanwhile, there is another Brutii army. Nero Maximanius is at our door. This uh, fort should hold out for three turns, uh, and it gives Tingi enough time to recruit some elephants or whatever else I need it to recruit. So we are moving in the right direction. Meanwhile, in Corduba, we're recruiting Sacred Band. And we're two turns away from the Royal Palace, and then we're going to work on our Catapult Rage in order to recruit onagers for we are going to execute our Master Ultra Plan, which is why I've been putting spies in Italy. We have a chance to take Rome, as you can see, while there are great big stupid Roman armies hanging around here. They're not exactly brilliant Roman armies, so with a big enough force, we could probably... L well, alright, this one is quite a nasty army, actually. But with a big enough force, we could land and capture Rome and within a turn with the right equipment. So, yeah. Or we could take Capua, which which could work as well. Um, how are you? Where is my spy right now, by the way? Did I lose him? Oh, no, I put him in Rome, didn't I? Yes, I did. And we're also planning to capture Segesta. Not probably going to hold it, but Segesta would be a good target for us to capture and maybe burn a little bit, do a bit of sacking. Ship's which is why Admiral Abedichum is on his way over right now as we speak. I so he's going to keep moving on towards Segesta and then we're going to yes, land. And if we can take the settlement within a turn, then I'll do it. If not, we'll just jump back on our ship and we'll go home. But for now, we're going to go to the next turn because there's really anything like, uh, else to do. So, next turn please. And we'll see what the Brutii and the Julii are up to. As well as hopefully no Gaul armies turn up within our mountain forts again. Let's go. Right, we are being engaged. Charmendius is being attacked by Decius. Try not to die this time. Oh, victory. Good. Okay, so my spy was detected in Rome. Um, but luckily, we could just walk right back in. So, yeah, whatever. You think you get a penalty for chance to infiltrate if you were detected, wouldn't you? No, don't you be detecting what that... Right, I thought I was going to start d detecting a diplomat. I don't care about that diplomat. Right, you stay in there for a bit. Tingi is under siege, but Maximinian has got bored, so he's decided to go and attack Tingi. I think we are capable of taking his army on in the field, though, as long as I have some elephants. Yes, I have elephants. Right, I think we could take him on the field, which is what we will do. Um, you keep on moving. You may run into Galerius at some point. I don't know. He's somewhere hiding. Being a coward he is, but for now just keep moving through those mountains and keep safe. But you are now at the point where we have one, two, three, four turns until we reach... Oh! So I was going to say, we're going to reach Domindi, but Domindi flipped. And I don't really want to take it anymore. That's quite a tough army. And that's only because they have chariots. And again, would chariots suck in a siege? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the territory no longer belongs to Brutii, so technically it could be up for grabs this, but... It's quite a strong army. All their units are very experienced. We'll attack later. Let's go somewhere else for now. We could go to Gaetulia, actually, and get go even further south. We'll probably take the Brutii even longer to ship reinforcements there, but at the same time it will be a pain for me. I say march on Serta for now. We'll take Serta. Let's start making our way up the coast. We'll keep shipping more units over as we can, so... Just get moving. We'll leave Domindi for now. But we're taking a long way around to Serta as well, but 
I guess we could see some merit in that. And hopefully if a brutey I really want this area back, they're going to send a big force to do it. And that means that's a big force not bothering with me right now. So we'll see what happens about you. Travel through these mountains instead. Or would it be quicker? Let's see. It's going to take him... I think it's going to take about the same amount of turns to get to certain, no matter which way I take. So travel through the mountains, my man. There we go. Just travel through the mountains. Just where we're going to be undetected, right? So we need to deal with Tingy, uh, another Sally Far battle there. Money, yeah, we, we we bled money this turn. That, that isn't very good. And on top of that, we do have a lot of retraining done, though, at least. So good. Should be ready to move out of Tingy and fight back. Uh, also, by the way, I blockaded Capua. So the Skippy I are no longer getting any trade, which means the Skippy I are now slowly being starved of money. And it's also going to cost the other factions a bit of money as well, because... As you can see, trade here is jumping. Right, you there, Mr. Spy. I only have a 32% chance of opening these gates, but it's a risk I'm going to take. Ready to sail. But, just because I want to get... If 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 it's like a, a no-show, a no show, I want to get my army in and out. So, what I'm going to do is... Blockade for part for now. We have a strong enough navy to stand up to any intervention. I will drop the army off next turn, but for now, blockade Sagesta and, I don't know, just, her, you know, start putting spanners in the works of a Julii for a little bit. As for you, Mr. Assassin, let's He's sabotage Sagesta. You can't kill Manius because you're not very good at it, but we could start disrupting the Julii's ability to get stuff done. Uh, things like the army barracks, that can go, so yeah, go for that. I don't know why I'm exactly picking on Sir Gesta, by the way, but it's, it'll be a... Oops, I accidentally fast-forwarded it. Oh, he won. He did it anyway. Um, but you know what? It is a chance just to um, disrupt the Julii a little bit, so we don't need to worry too much about our East Frontier. I mean, obviously, we do need to worry about it, but if we just give it, if we just sabotage the Julii a little bit over here, it might slow down their progress and stuff like that. And also, sacking Sir Gesta, while I would ruin it, it would also just basically give me a butt ton of money to use, so yeah, I I'm happy with that. Okay, anything else to do before we end this turn? We get the Royal Palace next turn. Obviously, we need to sally forth. I I'm not going to forget about that. Scalabis, you're currently working on your new uh, Governor's Palace. Numantia is doing good. Asturica's doing good. Oscar's doing good. You are two turns away from Nova. Um, right, and Parma, 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 Ham. We are now probably about a turn or two away from Grove. And Corralis, the same probably applies to you. Right, anything to do in Tingy? Uh, Tingy is currently constructing, not recruiting. But right, you, take your armies. It's a standard Bruti I siege drill. Attack them. Okay, so here we go then. Here's today's battle. It's a strength ratio of three to two in my in my favour. Nero Maximianus has uh, 1,041 men. I outnumber him by about 700 men. Um, here's his army. It's not the best, but at the same time, it's enough to pre 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 you know, it's enough to probably kill a few of my men off. He does have early legendary cohorts and auxilia, but he's backing them up with Velite gladiators and Numidian cavalry. So. He's weak on cavalry, okay on infantry, but he's very weak on counter cavalry. Once those Velite gladiators are distracted and tied up, my elephants should be easily able to sweep in and do the job. So, let's just get in this one and uh, have ourselves a good old fashioned bash fight. Because then I might be able to send more troops to Serta. Because also, we don't need to just take Serta, we need to secure Serta. Let's go on and do things. By the way, the rulers of states are the only ones who have the privilege of lying. Ooh, I can say a lot of real world stuff about that, but I'm just going to resist. That guy looks like a mouse on my right, doesn't he? It's like a big cat. But I wonder if those guys are going to get stealth assassinated by those two Roman dudes in the background. Await my orders. Right. Here we go then, another battle at Tingy. But, since we fought a few of these, I have learned things of how the enemy thinks. And one of those things I have learned is, right now, 
The battle strength ratio sits in my favour. Victory is already a distinct possibility. So I know what the Romans will do. They'll cut and run as soon as they can. So we need to make sure we're positioning enough troops out on this gate to start moving. I also want my slingers in a position where they can intercept the enemy army. So we're going to have our slingers just on the wall today. We're not bringing them to the field. So slingers, I want you here. Other slingers, I want you here. Now cavalry will be moving out of this gate. In order to try and hem the enemy, we're going to try and herd the enemy around. Elephants will come out at a time when I say so, because obviously we do need to clear out those Velite gladiators, who... I'm not sure if they have a bonus against elephants, but I just don't like them. I think I, they pose a threat. And then, main core of infantry, which is going to be my Poweni infantry, will emerge from this gate. Basically, going to chase the enemy around. So, you guys just group up for the second. Have the Libyan spears back you up, though, because the Libyan spears... Um, actually not going to be too useful in this one, but they're still okay. So, you know, they'll still have their uses. And then Iberian Infantry. Um, grab the Iberian Infantry come out of this gate, actually. Because what we're going to do is they're going to back up the cavalry and just be used for flanking. Bit of a weird tactic, I know, but I think that's how we're going to use them today. Right. Let's fight this one and win this one. Simple as that. So, start of the battle. And the enemy is already on the move, so right, we are, so they are, he's already beginning, not, he's not running just yet, but he's beginning to run. Poenis, let's make our battle line out here, and it looks like the enemy is trying to come fuddle me, or at least bamboozle my plans. This time they're running in this direction, rather than this direction, which is the direction they're usually running. Oh well, cavalry, begin making your way out of the gates, please, and slingers, it looks like you're just going to have to come out as well, so slingers, begin moving out, please. So I'm not just going to let you sit there and do nothing. You are going to do something. I am going to use my slingers to open the engagement as usual because slingers are the best unit to do that. Could target those principes, those Velite gladiators. We have plenty of squishy units in my units to target. Elephants, you may as well begin moving towards this city gate so you're ready to be deployed. And herby derby derby do Libyan spears. Um, I want you on this flank. And I've had trouble sleeping all week, unfortunately, which is why I'm somewhat yawny, but... It's not because the game's boring, yo. It's because I have a shit sleeping schedule. Then again, it is my fault for staying up till like 4am playing Sonic Mania. Which, by the way, is an excellent game. Because I know the last episode, I was mentioning how I wanted to play it, and I played it between episodes, and um, yeah. So while we're just waiting for to play, I will just quickly say it. Sonic Mania is an absolutely fantastic game. It is brilliant. It is basically everything I wanted out of it and even more. Um, brilliant levels, brilliant music, brilliant gameplay, really hard boss fights, and I still haven't beaten the final boss because the final boss can go fuck off in my opinion. Bloody fucking jumping, spazzing bastard, 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 bastard who keeps fucking killing me. Oh, it's not an easy game. But I think that's what I like most about it. It's because I, I I was basically at the point with all the other Sonic games where I could just basically fly through them. So basically now I have some fresh meat to try and beat and then eventually speed run. So I am happy for that. And I also look forward to the uh, release of Sonic Forces later in the year. Hopefully it will be just as good or better. I don't really know. But hopefully it's going to be a good game. Right, the Romans are moving around a little bit again. Um, they're getting aggressive as well. Okay. Least. We're not getting too aggressive, but they try. I think they're trying to take advantage of me being distracted. They know I'm talking about Sonic Forces. They're Mario fans, these guys, right? Poenies, let's get ourselves organized and lined up. Slingers, where am I at with my slingers right now? Are we making our way out of the city, or where are we? Where are my slingers at? They're over here right now. Slingers, I did give you an order to move out, didn't I? Come on. Keep up. You know what, you get to run for that. Go on, run. Because you've wasted my time now. We only have a limited amount of time before these rooms run away. So we've got to, got to get in before our window closes. Now the Roman did, Romans aren't really bringing any ranged units in particular. They do have Velites and Libyan skirmishes. But luckily I'm deployed out of their effective range. So I am free to camp here for a while. Right, Libyan spears... We're going to put ourselves on this flank just because we've got Numidian mercenaries here. The general is here. 
Um, it doesn't really matter what the general hits, actually. Right now, the general is absolutely fucked. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep the Libyan Spears on this flank just to try and keep these uh, new medium mercenaries away. While they are skirmish at cavalry, they will probably at some point try to engage us in a melee engagement or they'll just get very cocky and move too close to me, at which point I can close my Libyan Spears. Right, how are we doing over here? Cavalry is on its way. Iberians are coming. And my lovely slingers have decided to get a move on. Right. Slingers, let's get ready to open the engagement now. You don't need to run anymore. You've done your punishment enough. Make your way over here and get ready to throw some stones. Take him off skirmish formation because I will give a retreat order when I say so. Elephants, since there's no ranged units for you to worry about, we'll bring you out into the rear now. May as well have you outside the city and ready to go rather than just chilling out in there because we're waiting for you to fucking organise yourselves out of the gate because that's a really hard task for any unit in this game, basically. So at least Pawani should be capable of beating back whatever the enemy has to offer. The only concern unit I have are those Velite gladiators because they usually do have a half-decent morale. But I will have my slingers target them if I do get a move on. Come on, slingers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No time like the present now. There we go, right. Slingers, I want you to target... Oh, hang on. Alright, they're bringing the Principes forward. Fine. If they want to come forward, let them get a face full of stones. You guys deploy over here. Looks like the Romans are going to just go for a general move forward. Right, target those auxilia. Right. How many can you take down? Ooh, they're getting wrecked. Right, one more volley before you retreat. Go on. Good volley, right. Get behind the lines and don't, don't fire anymore. You, you've just done your last volley. Get behind the lines and don't fire. There we go. Okay. Let the enemy run into my spears now, please. Auxilia, you're about to get fucked. Oh, no, wait, they're turning around. All right, fine, I'll fake you out. If they come back, we'll, we'll just throw more stones at them. All right, you, you guys have retreated far enough. Yep, the Romans just got annoyed at my spears and then they ran off. Right, good. Right, let them retreat a little bit. And then we'll bring the slingers back forward again. Just go for a nice one-two volley. That's if he's no, he's you know, out running forward just yet. But we'll run forward as soon as my as soon as my slingers rock up. But luckily my cavalry is now in position to provide extra support. And these Poenies, I'm gonna put you in a guarding oh no, you're already in guarding formation. Good, because you're in a phalanx formation, so it's automatic, right? Get a shot out against those early legionary cohorts while they're not facing you. Good good volley. I saw a few deaths there. Right. Take, take on those new Midians. They're trying, they're trying to pepper us with javelins. You can pepper them with rocks. Go on, go on, go on, go on. See those numbers go down. Ooh, I saw quite a few numbers go down there. That was a good volley. Slingers, get another volley out. Slingers, get another volley out. Just keep volleying. Get a volley out against those auxiliar, actually. But just hit whatever you can, really, at this rate. But we're just hitting the enemy at the right time now, right? Get that volley out. Come on. Good volley. Right. Back behind my lines. You, you don't have time. Back behind my lines. Go, 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 go. Some of these guys did get caught, but it's alright, it's alright. We'll live. Oh, meanwhile, over here, the Velite Gladiators did engage my Libyan Spears. Right. Let's bring some cavalry in to support them. Long shield. Start, start wearing down those new Midian mercenaries. Elephants, start moving in. The Velite Gladiators are well and truly distracted, and I've got them screwed. So, elephants can move in. Slingers, don't move forward just yet. I know you just somehow won an engagement there. Actually, no, no, no. Do move forward. Fucking attack. What am I thinking? Go on. Go for it. Knock the cowards down before my cavalry can get there. But he's on a full retreat now. I can see it. Elephants, you have full permission to move in and do whatever the hell you like. As well as trample all my own men. But you're not rampaging, so it doesn't count. Right. Keep going, elephants. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just chase down anything retreating. My Poenis will finish off whoever's decided to stay in this fight so far. Libyan Spearman, start taking out that general because it, he's, he's starting to mulch down my, my Poenis, which isn't really brilliant. You guys also just get in and just help. Just got to take out. There we go. Just finish that general off and we've got this one sorted. I mean, he's broken. He's broken. He's broken. Right. General's Cavalry, take down him now. Hey, b -wings, you're actually in this. Oh, look, that was tactical genius. I put. Oh, don't matter. I had him in a position to intercept for once. Right. Elephants, keep going. Don't just stop. Keep going. 
You lot just start taking everything out. Slingers, call it a day now. There we go. Everything's falling into pl Oh, victory. Be keep going, keep going. Taste Except that was... I thought the border was the over there. Oh, well. That's a few enemies escaping there, but at the same time, that was not... I don't think I had too many deaths on my side. A few Carthaginian bodies on the ground, especially where the uh, cavalry hit us, but I think there we pretty much had that battle well under my control. So, go me, go me, go me, go me. Right, come on. Keep running down whatever's left here. Come on. The more you kill, the better. And we also killed the enemy general, so that makes me happy as well. Another brutey I wiped out. Once more, I do feel like we have finally taken control of this situation. You guys, I don't know. Fuck it. Go for a melee engagement on these guys. I just don't want to accidentally throw a stone at one of my generals. Go on. You're making Romans run away with your stupid pointy daggers. I feel happy about that. There we go. Right. Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Right, just this one guy. Elephants or cavalry, it's up to you. Oh, wow, well, that was not a well timed stab there, my dude. There we go. Victory is yours. And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy. Yep, good victory. You done you done me proud again, lads. And look at that, we only lost 150 men this time around. That is, we are getting better and better at this. So that's another Roman wiped out. Here are some stats for you to look at. Uh, Many be best standout unit as usual was my cavalry because, well, I just basically... Well, Slingers did well as well, but I just basically used cavalry as my nuclear bombs in this game because, yeah. That's kind of what the purpose of cavalry is. Victory Fucking is nukes. Ours, now, this guy didn't get wiped off the campaign map, but he's probably going to be hoofing it all the way back to Serta. And that's fine. I can deal with him in Serta. That's fine. I I'll deal with him. But then again, actually, my fort cuts off his escape now. Oh dear, you won't be going anywhere. You have to go all the way down to Tamindi and get eaten by rebels. How tragic for you. Oh dear. By the way, Charmendius, don't you have something useful to be doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, he actually somehow got past my fort. Huh. Probably shouldn't have fast-forwarded then, but right, you. Oh, wait, you're not carrying anything useful. Right, um... I don't know then. Uh, keep blockading Surtur or something. I don't know. Just do something that annoys the enemy, because the enemy isn't blockading me anymore. They kind of they got bored and ran away, so... Yeah, you just sit here and blockade Surtur, even though it seems to be doing nothing. Right, um... I don't think there's a lot left we could do this turn now, actually. We're blockading Segesta, we're blockading Serta, we've beaten back another siege on Tingi. Uh, the Brutii lost control of Dimindi, and I'm going to leave it for now because it's just a bit too strong. Like, you know, those gold chevrons are putting me off. Um, I guess last things last, Sakabal, you're not going to make it to Nova this turn anyway, right? But next, next turn you will be in Sakab, you will be in Carthago Nova. To do your retraining, which is going to waste all that lovely population I've been building up because fuck you. And yeah, I think we're in a good position now. So next time, I'm going to move in on Serta. The, uh, the enemy army here is getting stronger every turn though, but it's okay. We can deal with him. Um, actually, you know what we do need, but we need another assassin. Uh, recruit me one assassin, please, and we'll send and we'll send him down to Serta to do some sabotaging and stuff. So actually, you know what, Charmendius, you need to be back in Nova. You are probably going to get Lord. chased, but yeah. Back to Nova for you. Uh, meanwhile, Jubal, you're not carrying anything. And you're not... Oh, wait, you're carrying something, aren't you? Well, you're carrying Tabernet. Um, I don't really have anything for Tabernet to do right now. Like, seriously, there is nothing for him to do. I mean, he can govern something when we have something to govern. But for now... Sitting, sitting Tingy until I can work out something for you to do. I need to get more armies out on the field. That is one thing I definitely do need to do. And again, Corral it. What, is, what, are your, what are your skills, Tabernet, again? Let me just have a quick look. Oh, God, everyone looks the same as well. These guys are fucking triplets, aren't they? They just all have different poses. Um, right. Tabernet is just a commander. He doesn't really have a lot going about him. But meanwhile, over here, yeah, do some retraining, please. Just replenish whatever we lost there, and also anyone who needs better armor and stuff. Right, there we go then, No, How are we doing in Tingy's population-wise, but we're still doing good. Right, good. But yeah, that's what we're going to call it an episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, because I think we've done well today. We've uh, beaten back the enemy, worked out the situation with Domindi, and now we're planning our attack on Segesta quite well. So next time, um, yeah, we're potentially attacking Segesta. Oh, by the way, look, there's a guy over here. Big Greek guy. Very big Greek guy. He's got like a half decent army there, actually. I wonder what he's I wonder if he's going to attack the Julii. Yes, if he is, then more power to him. I'm just gonna keep going south and exploring. 
Um, but yeah, next time we're going to attempt to guest her. We're going to keep moving on Serta, and then we're going to, um, I don't know, keep ruining Vibrutii's life, basically. But right, oh dear, there's even more Greeks everywhere. Yes, Looks like they're sending you. everything around. They were just following or patrolling or something. Well, you just keep moving. We'll see what else is going on. But yeah, that's where we're going to call it an episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And next time, sieging stuff potentially. And also just trying to keep the brutality eye suppressed again. So, I hope I see you on the next episode. But for now, have a lovely evening, folks.